Han Emily here and today this is the first game hunt I've been able to do in a number of months. Uh, they have relaxed a lot of the uh, laws over here in our state in Queensland, Australia. Uh, stores are now starting to reopen. Uh, we've got cash converters open and op shops so hopefully today I can find some goodies. So stay tuned. So we're in everyone. Five blue games already. Um, infamous, Watchdogs, Battlefield, Bugger. I'll probably come back and have a look at this stuff. DS games actually that I don't have. Um, I think I'm gonna get most of these in all honesty. I'm gonna need a basket, guys. So, I'm definitely gonna get all the $3 ones. I've never seen DS games this cheap in store, so sorry if this uh, is a little bit loud. For you guys well, I'm rattling around here um, but yeah like endangered species games like they might be Australian exclusives because they've got I'm not sure open season drawn and another little list pet shop so DS games um, they've obviously discounted quite a lot of their other things too. Um, normally this store, if they discount stuff, the highlighted one is, um, these ones will be half price. So I'm going to check these soon. But I don't have blinks. Smackdown games. Love PSP. So normally these highlighted ones will be half price, but I think I've eventually got all of the um, Sing Stars and Guitar Heroes and stuff like that already. Um, and they've got quite a lot of games here. Um, I don't know why they're just sitting here on the floor, but anyway. That's cool. The cover's a bit stuffed on that other one. adventures, ones in their non-proper case, obviously stay clear of collecting those ones. Dance Central 2, hmm, Dishonored, I haven't got that, looks pretty cool. Okay, maybe the dance one. Maybe. Check the discs at some point. Just keep looking at the moment. Too cheap to pass up. Come back and have a look. Now, normally um, they will have games in the cupboard but lately I don't think a lot of people have been trading stuff um, 
you know, Facebook Marketplace has been a absolutely huge um, sort. Like people have obviously been putting a lot of stuff on Facebook. Um, so they got Pokemon Gold there, four fifty nine. It looks like. Cool. They still have that Disney Simba game. Um, they got Zelda, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks there. Some other games up there too. Um, PS1's 49, the Wii U is 95, and the SNESs are all sort of random prices 110 through to 127. There's one Xbox One S for 250, but it doesn't have any accessories with it, okay? It's just the one from there on the bottom shelf. Do you need to buy an HDMI controller and power supply? Okay, so that's all I've got there at the second. So There's any of those that I'd be after. Let's keep looking. Have a look and see if there's any 90s movies there, I think. Never know. Oh my goodness. More games. This is like my favorite way of searching for them. $50 for Mario Kart, the Dreamin'. $45, no. Five dollars for that. Warriors of Rock. Maybe I don't have that two dollars. I have to check the list. Some of these are three dollar Wii games. Definitely not those games for that price. We'll have to see what's in the bottom, but I think these are all like they're really, really old games that they've had in here before. And from memory, they're all pretty hammered. So I'd have to have a look through. I've had this stock for ages. So the guy put all the games actually out now, um, which is cool because it's a little bit easier to see. Um, but there really isn't anything that I'm kind of after. They're all like a bit overpriced in all fairness. And all of those ones that I did end up grabbing um, and going through, um, that's sort of what I'm left with at the moment. The other ones are over there. Um, they're just too hammered and scratched and stuff. They're not worth it. I pretty much got most of these now. And they have, as I said, had these for ages but they can't move them because they're so scratched. It's not bad, clearance $2. I don't think we have that.
welcome back to the local lifeline. Uh, of course, we have to sanitize when we come in. Not sure where the games are in this particular one. That doesn't look very promising. DVDs at the back of Oh, I'm here already. I'm going to go and have a look at the little bits and bobs. to a soccer Coneheads DVD I think I might pick that one up checking out another cashews oh my goodness this is like literally the one pop that I've really really wanted oh my tons and tons and tons of DVDs to go through awesome I don't know if we actually have the DVD of this, but I'm definitely going to get that for a trip in the guy. So, um, I haven't been to this cash converters for quite a long time. I don't know how much the games are. Oh, two bucks. Probably not too bad, actually. Two dollars each. A lot of sport. A lot of Guitar Hero. Connect. iToy. Mmm, best game there so far is Gran Turismo, oh, it's got Zumba Fit, oh, there you go, um, ooh, Ben 10, nine dollars though. What's this game? Oh, Power Cricket, mm, not really, ooh, try her first here is 29. I already have that though. Princess Frog, three dollars. Maybe being a Disney game, I might, I might get that one. Um, they've got quite a lot of Wii games. Two dollars, yes. Um, oh, what's Kabuki? I haven't seen it. Not in the right thing. Cooking party and just lots of Wii. Okay, Wolfenstein, so $5 on the PS3 games. Hmm. Watch. Xbox. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Naruto game. $3. Hmm, I might look that game up. I haven't seen that one before. And I wonder if they've got anything in another section. Let's go have a quick look. That's it. Damn. I might get that PS Vita game. Twelve dollars is pretty good. PS Vita games are going up quite a lot here in Australia, so I might um, get that one. Cool. That's it, everyone. Nothing else here today. So everyone, that's the first game hunt I was able to go on for a number of months. Uh, I haven't been looking for anything uh, since we went to Bundaberg uh, and uh, everything has started to relax here. I was actually talking to some of the shopkeepers and they were letting me know that everything in Queensland, Australia had actually been opened up uh, a little over a week ago. So uh, everything's starting to get back to some normality here in Australia, or at least in my state. Uh, so I'm really grateful that it was uh, safe enough to go out and go and take a look at uh, some of the cash converters and uh, the couple of op shops that I did. So let's take a look at all the stuff that I ended up picking up. I've made some little piles around me and we're gonna go through each one. 
Uh, recently, I ended up uh, jumping on the Gamesman's website uh, and with the news of the new Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla, I wanted to grab the uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Ezio collection. Uh, this particular one has uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations on the one disc. I did pick this up on uh, from the Gamesman on their website. It ended up being $19 here on clearance. A uh, brand new sealed when it arrived and I think the post was about $6.95. So, uh, I think that's pretty good value. I do have uh, Assassin's Creed 2 on PS3 version, but um, I thought if I'm going to play it through, I would try and play it through on the PS4. So that was a pretty good deal, $26.95 delivered. Then we went to uh, a JB Hi-Fi, and um, I do remember this game. It was actually an arcade game. Um, it's called Toki, and this particular version was a re-release. I don't know if it was 2018 that this may have came out, um, but yeah, it's it's fantastic uh, little platformer action game, and it's really really brutally hard. Uh, so I'm going to make my way playing through this one uh, too. So yeah, if you want to check out Toki, I ended up playing paying sorry uh, $24 for this one. So uh, at JB Hi-Fi, pre-owned. Now, uh, at the op shops, uh, there was one that I went to off uh, camera, and uh, the reason being is the ladies there don't really like um, cameras in the store, and I thought I better not do it. But I went through, and there wasn't too much around. Uh, the games were all pretty much like iToy on the PS2. Uh, there was some PC games, but uh, with some PC, if the codes are already been redeemed or assigned to someone's account, like EA or whatever, um, you can't use them. So I, I just didn't even bother. Uh, but I did go through and had a look at their DVDs, and I ended up finding this uh, copy of Maximum Risk. Uh, this is Jean Claude, Jean Claude Van Damme movie, and Natasha Hen Natasha Henstridge. What am I doing today? I can't even speak. I need a cup of coffee. I'll just have a cup of coffee. Beer it is. No, I said coffee. Beer? Cough? E. B. Ear? C. O. B. A. Uh, so yeah, this one's actually a pretty good movie. I remember this. I had the VHS version of it. Um, it came out in the 90s, I'm pretty sure. 1996. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit of a classic. Let me know if you've seen that one. I paid $2 for this Blu-ray. The first cash converters that I ended up uh, heading to had all of those cardboard boxes full of games. Uh, now, as I said, disclaimer was when I was going through those boxes, they have had those games for months. I would have shown those games uh, on older previous game hunt videos from even like September and August 2019. So they've had those games for so, so long. They're actually pretty hammered. Uh, I put a ton of games in my basket, which you would have seen, uh, but I only ended up walking out with these ones. I went through quite a number of them and uh, the games, yeah, they were just too heavily scratched, uh, not worth picking up uh, to trade at local game store to obviously put towards other games. Uh, they just, they weren't worth it. Even though they were like a dollar or two dollars, um, yeah, they just weren't worth the effort. Uh, so there was games there like um, Wii Fit. Um, there was uh, Buzz and a few other things, so I just didn't bother. But these games were definitely worth grabbing. So they had a number of uh, DS games when we walked in. I threw most of them in my basket and then I worked out uh, which ones I had in my collector's app and then put the other ones back on the shelf. So they're all complete in box and really, really mint condition. So I ended up picking up Open Season, Pets, Dogs, Superstars, Drawn to Life. This one's got this cool uh, cover on it too. So I'm looking forward to playing that. So that one was the next chapter. And then there's Drawn to Life, which must have been the first version of it. I don't have either of those. Now there's Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen. There's the Autobots and the Decepticons versions. Uh, I don't think these are really good games. There's only a few Transformers games that are actually really, really good. Uh, but I thought, you know, I don't have either of these and they came together. So, you know, $3 a piece and mint, I thought they were worth picking up. And Rayman Raving Rabbids. I actually think I have this game, uh, but I'm gonna give this uh, to my friends. So yeah, I thought for $3, I'm definitely gonna pick that up as well. So those games, 
uh, really good condition, you know, $3 each. I can't, I can't say no, I can't say no at $3 each. One of the Lifeline stores that we popped into had been open, uh, that lady let me know, I think they'd been open two weeks. Uh, so I was just going through, uh, they didn't have any games. I think there was the odd one, but they weren't worth picking up. But I did spot this copy of Coneheads. Uh, great 90s movie. I definitely had to pick this version up. Lastly, the cash converters at the end of the video. Uh, I ended up talking to the girls there behind the counter and they had sold out of all of their stuff weeks beforehand. Uh, they said that they had a ton of video game stock, uh, but when the isolation process sort of started here in um, in Brisbane, they said that they sold a ton of stuff. All their retro in their cabinets was all gone. There was just those two PS Vita games. Uh, a lot of the Wii, uh, Xbox, PS3 had all sold. Uh, so yeah, I ended up uh, sitting down and going through a number of things, but there wasn't a lot for me to pick up. Uh, so unfortunately, you know, maybe if I had have gone at the beginning, but I didn't want to risk anything. So, you know, anyway, I picked up a few things. Uh, I ended up grabbing uh, Smackdown vs Raw 2010. This one was uh, $2, but unfortunately I didn't really pay attention. So this is a rookie move. I'd know better, um, but when I've gotten home to clean it up, the insert's actually been wet. So it's not actually really good condition. Um, for $2, yeah, okay, it's cool, it's a raw game. Um, I like the WWE games, but yeah, I normally wouldn't pick something up that's got a wet insert, so be sure to check that out. I also picked up Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, I really like this Need for Speed game. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. I know it's also brutally hard, um, but I do like this game. Uh, I've been collecting all the different variants, so I've got the platinum version now. That was $2. The disc is awesome condition, and it came with its manual. Uh, Buzz the Sports Quiz. I ended up grabbing this. This was, I believe, a dollar. Again, all complete. Uh, this particular one is an exclusive to this region. So this is uh, for Australian and New Zealand. It's the Australian New Zealand edition. So it's gonna have sports questions uh, relevant to this area. So yeah, that was like a dollar, I think, or two dollars. Really good value. Uh, then I ended up picking up Cooking Party. I feel like this might be the original Overcooked. I don't know what to expect. Uh, but it's a game that you can play for people uh, and I'm all for that at the moment, especially when uh, we have friends over and stuff like that. We've been playing a lot more of our Nintendo Wii, more so than our Switch. I keep saying that to everyone. Definitely get yourself a Wii. I think it's yeah, just obviously a hidden gem. So I picked up this cooking party. Again, it was a dollar. The reason why it was a dollar was because this case was actually really, really dirty. Um, it was just, uh, I think, Coca-Cola or something. Let's just keep saying it was Coca-Cola. The disc was a uh, really good condition. And again, um, yeah, you can't go wrong for a dollar. It's something I didn't have. And it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with friends and family. Then, uh, as I walked in, I spotted this Tender Heart Care Bear pop, vi pop vinyl. As you guys know, I'm absolutely obsessed with the Care Bears. I love them. I've got um, the collection of VHS and the occasional toy, but I love Tender Heart. I have no intention of possibly getting the rest of them. They did have Grumpy Bear there, but I really wanted to get Tender Heart, so I'm really happy I ended up picking him up. He had $12 on him, but I ended up getting him for 9 so I was really happy with that. And then lastly, uh, these are not games, sorry guys. Uh, the game hunting was not a bust. We got some good games. We got some $3 games and dollar games. Can't complain with that uh, and games that I could add to the collection. But these, this pile are utter gems. Uh, so that particular Cash Converters uh, did $1 DVDs and I went through every single one. Uh, and this is the pile that I ended up with and uh, let me know if there's some banger movies in here that you guys remember. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer, not the TV show, the original movie. The Net with Sandra Bullock, one of my all time favorite movies. Biodome with Paulie Shaw, so, so funny. I haven't watched that in so long. This one you guys might not know of. It's called One Perfect Day. It was filmed here in Australia. It's an Aussie movie. 
Uh, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this particular version comes with the DVD and the soundtrack. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, it's a movie that we didn't own either. Um, it seems to be pretty hard to come by, so I'm really happy that we ended up picking that up. Demolition Man. I think I have a few versions of this now. Uh, it never gets old. Um, one of my favorite movies, yes, uh, and there's news that Demolition Man 2 might come back, so I'll come out. Very excited about that. Uh, Grandma's Boy, I can't remember if I watched this or not, but it seems like a bit of an oddball one. Uh, it has Happy Madison production on it, so I was definitely going to pick that up. Spawn, Director's Cut, Drop Dead Fred. If you haven't seen Drop Dead Fred, you've got to watch that, everyone. Hackers. I do have a copy of this, but um, I can't remember if it has any special features on it. This one does say it has special features, so uh, I just grabbed another copy of it. And lastly, Hook, the collector's edition. It does have a cracked case, but I do have empty DVD cases, so I'll just switch that out. Uh, but I bought this for Retro Gamer Guy, so yeah. So all those DVDs cost me a dollar. These game, this game pile, uh, sorry, Coneheads cost two. Uh, this game pile was uh, between one and two dollars a piece. Nine dollars for the this, and then three dollars each for the DS games. Uh, so yeah, I think it was a pretty good game hunt slash movie hunt. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to click the card up there so you can check out some of my other game hunt videos from last year. Uh, and I would love it if you guys could hit the subscribe button and uh, join me next time for another video. But until then, I'll talk to you later.